Eric Darling here, Eric Darling Data. And normally I say that I wanted to record a video, but didn't actually want to record a video. I wanted to go take a nap. <laughs> so here we are. And uh, this video is decidedly non-tech. This is, this is me dipping my toes into professional development. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. I have no soft skills whatsoever. My softest skill is being nice to bartenders. <laughs> That's my soft skill. Uh, but this video is about um, how I set up to tune code, whether it's a stored procedure or a function or anything else in the world. It's important. It is muy importante to have a good setup so that you can be as efficient as possible while people are paying you to fix things for them. So what I always do, and this is an admittedly smushed version of what I do. I usually have a slightly larger screen, but for the purposes of recording, 1920 by 1080 is just what you're going to get. Sorry. That's it. So what I always do is I have <coughs> a split screen. And I have a split screen for a couple reasons. Uh, one is because I want to compare what the code looked like before I made any changes. I'll usually do. The, I'll usually keep the the virgin version on the right side, the untouched version on the right side, and I'll keep that over here so that I know exactly what things looked like before I went and did anything. I can also keep that over here in case something over here gets so screwed up <laughs> that I just need to re I just need to start over. That never happens to me though. Too good at my job. So that's the first thing, right? So you have this thing over here. This is what things looked like before. This is what things looked like after. The other thing that I have in there, it's another useful window in this setup, is this one right here. And what we get in this window and what will also be, and I believe this window, are the results and query plans. You see, if you have a long or even long-ish running query, the last thing you want to do is have to keep running it to see if the results are right and see what the execution plan looked like and if it got any better or worse or faster. So over here, I'll keep a copy of the store procedure run, the virgin store procedure run, as is, with the hopefully correct results. <clears throat> there have been uh, several times when working with people when uh, we have been looking at the results of a query and they've been like, oh wait, that's, that's not right. <laughs> that can't possibly be. And then we, ha we have a different issue to tackle, but that's, that, is not, that is not really the point here. The point here is we should assume that the results of this query are correct and that we are trying to reproduce those results in a faster manner. crazy. So we have the results over here. So we can easily compare side by side the results, make sure things line up. Does 355 have 1045? Yes, it does. 1045. Look at that. That's great. I also like to keep the execution plan up so that I can see which parts of the query that I want to focus on. Oop, I grabbed the wrong thing there. Story of my life. So I can see which parts of the query I want to focus on. And then as I get to tuning on this side, I haven't done anything over here yet. So don't judge me. But then I can compare, like, well, okay, well, you know, this video used to take 9.4, or this video, this insert, this insert used to take 9.4 seconds, and I got it down on this side to X number of seconds, and then over here, I'll do the same thing. It's like, oh, this select took 42 seconds, and now I managed to get it this much faster, so I have a before and after. And I can also kind of see, like, you know, there are a lot of times when, when tuning a query, when it makes a lot of sense to break a query up into multiple pieces, right? Like, you don't want to run... Uh, like sometimes having that one big query is like the worst idea. It's like, sh shoot, man, I, I don't understand what this query does. And like breaking it up into multiple pieces is a good idea. And then like you have to figure out if those multiple pieces are all faster than the one big one. So this is just a very helpful general setup for me. Now, another thing that I'll do is I'll keep a copy of some notes 
over on the left side. Let's say that uh, you know I'm running my query and maybe it's going on for a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'll probably have SP who is active open over here so I can see what's going on when the query runs, get the plan for it, see what's happening. If I need to make any notes or create any indexes that don't really make sense to have as a comment, I'll put that over on this side so that I can reference it pretty easily without having to flip around through a million windows and remember what I did when. So this is how I set up and get organized to tune code and uh, I don't know I don't think there's anything uh, too too ambitious in here it should be a pretty easy thing for you to reproduce oh yeah I forgot <laughs> I forgot to show you how to do this there's always something if you take if you if you have <laughs> if you want to get this split screen set up you just go to the window fi file menu up here and you choose new new vertical tab group and if you choose new vertical tab group uh, you will get that line in the middle where you can have two sets of queries um, two sets of queries there um, if, if you if you don't if you don't already have a vertical tab group set up you can also set up a, a horizontal tab group I don't know how much more helpful that would be though that might that might not be as helpful but I find the vertical tab group very helpful and I hope that you my dear watcher listener reader stalker <clears throat> maybe future drinking buddy if you play your cards right uh, have enjoyed this video hope that maybe you you learn something like maybe to lead <laughs> with the instruction <laughs> uh, maybe not this is what happens when I record videos sober. It's your fault you did this to me. It's your fault. Never happen again, though, I promise. Never happen again. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, and I'm going to go take a nap. Have a good day.